Hey everyone, I'm Daniel Fuller from the Abundant Life Training Center and welcome to our daily communion meditation. Where today we're talking about our light growing or our light shining brighter. So last night was the first night of the Feast of Hanukkah. And it's this interesting thing in the Feast of Hanukkah, also known, the word Hanukkah means dedications, the rededication of the temple. It's a reminder for us to be rededicating our lives to God and what he's called us to do in our life. We've also got this amazing picture in Hanukkah, where on the first night they light one candle, the second night they light two, the third night three, and it keeps going like that into the eighth night. And Hanukkah is this reminder also about how God took the little bit of oil that they had, enough oil for one night, and he made it last eight nights. A reminder for us, God can take the little bit that we have and do the miraculous. But I want to focus on tonight, the, the part about, or the, actually I'm recording this the first night of Hanukkah. I want to focus on this concept of our light growing brighter. We talk a lot about walking in the light. We talk about doing the things that you know to do. And as we grow in the amount of light that we have, we can see better. We know more to do. And so we're going to be asking God today to help us to have our light be ever increasing, to be growing brighter and brighter every day, like we see in this picture in the Feast of Hanukkah. So Heavenly Father, we are asking for your help. We just thank you for this reminder that we have that our light is supposed to be growing brighter and brighter ever expanding. We ask you to help our light to shine brighter every day, to keep growing in this. We ask you to expand the light that we have, where we can see things more clearly. We know what to do on a new level. And we're asking for your help with that today. And we're going to take communion over this. But why do we take communion every day? Jesus says, as often as you do this, remember me. As often as you do this, remember me. The Apostle Paul says, every time we take communion, we're proclaiming the death of Jesus. And in the case of a will or an inheritance, nothing happens until you prove the death. So in a way, communion is like an activation of all the benefits that are found in this new covenant. But it's also important we take it the right way. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 says we should be examining ourselves or dis be discerning of ourselves when we eat of the bread and drink of the cup. So let's just take a moment to examine ourselves. Let's start with what are the ways that we walked in the light today? Walked in love, walked in the truth. Ways that we put God first, ways that we were resting in our soul. Walking in love full of Kindness and patience and gentleness, goodness, always hoping, always trusting, always persevering, delighting in the truth because love never fails. Ways that we responded with faith and belief and maybe in the face of adversities, we give ourselves or other people grace when we miss the mark, took action and persevered. And just walking out the day in connection with God, feeling connected with him, in fellowship with God, in fellowship with one another. Now, in contrast to that, it's important we recognize the ways that we weren't walking in the light. We've all got buttons that can be pushed, emotional buttons, buttons in our heart. That cause us to want to step out of that, to step out of God's way of doing things. But thankfully, God is greater than our hearts. He can help us to reprogram all those buttons. But we've got to recognize them first, and we're going to bring them to God. So these would be ways that we feel that strain in the relationship with either God or people. There's broken fellowship. We're stressed or worried or toiling away in our mind. We're snapping at people, responding in just a, an ugly way, maybe. Feeling stressed, down, depressed, complaining, venting, pouting. Feeling unfulfilled because the reality is in, in Christ, there's fullness in him. Focus on all the problems. Just thinking back throughout the day. 
Think about the buttons that got pushed. What caused you to respond that way? And we're going to bring those areas to God now and ask him to help us to reprogram those buttons. And so, Heavenly Father, we just thank you that every moment of every day, we get this opportunity to walk in the light with you. And we ask you to forgive us of any ways that we missed it. We fell short. We lost our positioning in the light. We're going to forgive ourselves. We're going to take those steps to get peace in any relationships. If we need to forgive or humble ourselves, we're going to take those steps. And Father, I thank you that what you put within us is more than enough to handle whatever's coming at us in a beautiful, graceful way. You give us all the kindness, love, patience, goodness, gentleness, self-control, faith, joy. It's all in there. Help us to grow that seed, to grow it and to cultivate it so that those things that used to push our buttons, we now respond in a beautiful, graceful way to. And we thank you that on the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. We'd all missed it. We'd all turned to our own ways, and God laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes we've been healed. He was crushed. He was destroyed. He was smitten by God so that we could be right and holy and perfect in his sight. And God raised him up from the dead, and he seated him at his right hand. And he raised us up together, made us sit together with him. And communion's a celebration of our union with him. So, Father, I thank you for this bread. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your juice, you can take your juice. Or your bread, you can take your bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that releases us from darkness. And transfers us into the light. Into the kingdom of Jesus. And he's a great king. His blood washes us and cleanses us, gives us a fresh start in life. So, Father, I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your juice, you can take your juice. All right, let's talk about some practical application into our health and fitness. When we're walking in the light, one of the symptoms of that is an increase in energy. In the light, there's energy. You'll feel this supernatural energy on the inside of you. And as that light is increasing, it's growing brighter on the inside of you. You're going to feel greater levels of energy. Of just that life that's on the inside of you that God put, the life of God that he put within you. But I hope this is enough for you today. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you can go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.